M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. On the right hand side, we've got the ICOM ICR15 scanner, and it's a very nice looking device, quite slim compared to the ICOM 52. Now, both of these are amazing, and there is a price difference because this is about 425 to 450 pound. The 52 is with the, the new model that has USB C, I think it's about 650 pound. So you get more for your money because you pay more. Both of these will, will work very well as scanner stroke receivers. You know, you can see there we've got air band here. We've got air band on the 52. They both have very similar antennas. They're both dual watch. Now the 52 will also receive D star. That's a biggie. And the other one that people love, if we go menu and then go to the scope, we've got the scope there. And if you go into single screen, You've got that this nice scope, and there's lots of settings within that. So then the, the you know the question is, well, why would I buy a scanner receiver? Well, there are many people that do not want to be able to or even to accidentally transmit. I mean, you're not going to be able to do that on the airband, even on the 52, because it won't allow you. But both of these devices are going to do VHF, UHF, PMR, um, and we're talking receive now, GMRS marine band they've got the color screens although i've noticed that there is no scope on the r15 also you can't go black on the r15 which i don't understand why they've kept that from us i think it's only firmware and when you turn this off watch this and turn it back on it's black so let me know what you think. I mean, it does have a SD card for programming. The programming software is called the CSR15, but RT Systems and ARC Boutel also have made software, and I've got the ARC one at the moment. I will be loading some you know, frequencies on this. I've found a few places to, you know, to get hold of those different frequencies. So, you know, marine band, air band, ham radio band, it's all that kind of thing, PMR, GMRS, you're going to love all that. And the functionality is very similar. You know, to change the frequency, you hit the VFO, you turn it. If you hit it again, you get bigger spaces or smaller. You've got VFO and memory mode. Scanning on this, it does it does dual scan, actually. And it, it has, I'll tell you one thing, it, it has got, it's come preloaded with uh, lots of juicy frequencies which you don't get with the 52 which as you know is d star also g you know gps dprs there's no gps in this both have bluetooth and the bluetooth works well i paired it with this i see it might just do it now if i turn it back on and it paired automatically again you know i had to search it initially there it is there connected so we're now scanning. You've got VFO memory mode, the quick menus that you get here. You've got broadcast radio on both as well. Dual screens on, on both as well. I'm just selecting everything now, aren't I? Do you see that dual screen there? And you can do, you can skip that. And with scanners, you need the skip thing because sometimes you keep picking up the same thing over and over again when it scans. So when it when you do pick it up and it'll stop, you can hit the skip. Now I'm I'm guessing that because I haven't actually looked properly. But menu-wise, they've got the grid style. We can have a white menu on the 52 if we want. And you've got your set for your... And it, it does record... Uh, the RC15 does record broadcast radio. You can see it there. Look. Was a, a record of... Uh, Which they Nazi both do. So, really, if you've got a 52, you've got one of these, really. You just haven't preloaded the uh, frequencies for all the airports. But, of course, you can do that. I mean, the, the programming software... Are from ICOM is is excellent actually. It's a sh I don't get it. You know, the ICOM 52 gets free software which works really well, but they're making us pay. Um, you know, we don't get D style, we don't get a band scope, we don't get a black and white screen, we don't get GPS. Give us the software, please. Come on. But otherwise, I do like it. It's a nice quality product. If you're into scanners, which I am. You're going to enjoy using that, you know, go to the airports and we've got the Uniden type device here as well. They work really well. Completely different way of functioning, completely. Um, 
a lot more learning to do on the Uniden where the icon really it ticks more like a ham radio if you ask me and I think that's a plus and the audio is a bit bit louder a bit rounder on the 52 a bit sharper on the um, let's just go like so on the 15 let's see if I can just go back to my VFO and then we'll just see if I can get my node we'll press it Four, three, four. There you go. Five, five, zero. Oh. Just need some activity, really. And then I could show you. If I turn right down, so you're just hearing Bluetooth at the moment. Let's turn off the Bluetooth. And let's see if we can hear that again. I'm just hitting my little node here. To, when it connects, it talks. Oh, look at that. We've got some air bands. <laughs> Turn it down, and then we'll do this one. We'll just do the 52 now, and try that again with the... That's an audio test, let's try it. M0 FXB test. Oh, flat battery, of course. That's a shame, let's try this. Time to charge the battery, and that's the other thing about the 52 and the 51, is the batteries are interchangeable, where the battery on, on the R15 is not. Yeah. But it's, I like it. It doesn't come with a drop-in charger, but it is USB-C charging. So is the, the new 52, 52 Plus. But you've got SD cards on both these devices. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.